Well, hello YouTube. Welcome to Trade Desmo. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do that trending design. I'm sure you've seen it around. It's called They Not Like Us from the Kendrick Lamar song. Usually, I don't follow trends, but I just thought this was just so cute. And I wanted to make my husband, he's a avid Detroit Lions fan. So I decided I wanted to make him something maybe some stickers or something like that. I was gonna try to do a t-shirt, but you know, I'm a vinyl only type of person. I have a sublimation printer, but I don't use it. But anyway, I figured since I was getting ready to do that type of project that I would come on here and show you how I do it in Silhouette Cameo. And first and foremost, I want to give a shout out to Silaholics Anonymous. She's a professor on here on YouTube. I highly recommend that you go to her channel and like, share, and subscribe because this is where I learned how to do this procedure. Of course, mine is going to be just a tad bit different than what she did. Mine is going to be more simple because that's how I operate. But um, excellent YouTube channel, so I highly recommend anybody to uh, go and check it out, Silaholics Anonymous, and that's where I learned this process. So I like to give people their flowers when I can. So I'm a subscribe member, go check it out. First things first, you wanna make sure that you get a high quality image and it has to be a flattened image. It can't be a layered design. Um, so I highly recommend you get a PNG, .png extension image that's a transparency because if you try to drag one that has a background to it, it's not going to work. So you want to make sure it's a transparency and it's a pretty high quality image. This Detroit Lions logo, it's it's decent, but it gets pixelated when you, you know, stretch it out and whatnot. So... I don't know if I was really like trying to sell these or something, I would make it so the image was more high quality because I don't like pixelization. But again, as I mentioned in the intro, this is for personal use. And of course, I'm not going to sell anything, sell any of these designs because that would be copyright infringement and I don't believe in that. NFL is really stickler, so this is going to be for personal use only. Next step is the text. So I'm going to use my text tool and the, the font you use is very important in this. So I'm going to put on all caps, they, so that's the first text. This is, I don't know what this font's called right off hand. I think it's Arial. So I'm going to go over here to my font modifier and I'm going to use impact font. So that's the first word and you want to make it big enough so you know of course you're going to adjust the size of your image but you want to make it so it stands out so i'm right clicking it i'm gonna hit copy then i'm gonna right click and hit paste and i'm gonna use this to go to the next line and i'm just double clicking it so it's day not and then I'm right clicking, I'm going to paste, take that, they not like, and last is us, they not like us. Okay. And you want to make it so it lines up. And you see I get that blue line right there that's giving me a, a little help on lining up the words. I'm making it left justified. Okay. So I'm going to select the words, not the image. Why they get in there? Okay, I don't want the image. I'm going to have to move you over. Select the words. I'm going to right click and group it. Next, I'm going to take my group of words and bring it over here. 
and I'm gonna put the line on there and bring them together. And this is where you adjust your graphic to say how you want it to look. So I kind of want to make it like the lines, you know, going away from the words and not as big as the words, but I think for this purpose, this is fine right here. So I'm just measuring the graphic to the letters. Next, you select the entire image. That's the graphic and the words. Right click, copy. Go over to your modify panel and select crop. So this is what the lion looks like in the form of the wording. Okay, next we're going to come back over here, right click, and we're gonna group it together. Then we're gonna right click again and go to paste in front. Not regular paste, paste in front. And bring it back together and then you're gonna click off of it. Okay, so now we're gonna click the letters and this is where you're gonna add the color to it. So I'm going to my color palette and I want to sample the lion blue. Be pretty. Then I'm gonna right click it and send it to the back. Now I wanna make the outline around the words. So we're gonna add the offset. Okay, so let me go back to select that and here's the offset. Depending on how thick or thin you want the words around there is up to you. I don't want it that thick like this is at 0 0.125. I think 0 0.040. It's a nice thin line. I might go up to 0 0.050. So basically it depends on what you want. So I'm hitting apply and then I'm going to put the outline on. Then I'm going to select the words only. So let me get that line out of there and that's gonna be the offset along with the wording and I'm going to group it. So the offset goes with the wording. So next, I'm going to go to the rectangle tool and I'm going to select what I want removed. And you have to make sure that it fully covers what's on here. So that goes like that. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my arrow key and I'm gonna hit the shift key down and I'm gonna select the graphic as well as we already had this selected, the wording with the rectangle. And finally, what we're gonna do is go to, after we have the graphic selected and our text, we're gonna go back to the modify panel and we're gonna hit subtract. See? So the only thing I would do different now is I'm just gonna scoot the line in just a little bit. I still want a, a board, like a, like a line in between there. I think it shows the pulling away. But that is our design. I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna take off the border line so you can see a better what it looks like without that red. See? I'm gonna select the whole thing, make sure that everything's grouped together. And that is how you make that type of a design. Not really sure what it's called, 
but I think it looks pretty cool. I just wish I could figure out how to put it on a t-shirt and there might be a way, but right now I think we'll just be good with uh trying to do stickers. So, and this will look really cool on a black, a black tumbler, do a print and cut or a white tumbler, whichever. But thank you for watching. And if I do decide to do the stickers, we're going to do another video on that. Most likely it will be a tumbler though, because I think that would be really cool with a print and cut tumbler. So, like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate you as always. Thanks for watching. Before I ended the video, I just wanted to show you these stickers that I was getting ready to cut out. So it's not only mascots, of course, you know that because I'm sure, again, you've seen this trim, this trend. So I did a breast cancer ribbon wing and changed the words to pink. So I thought that was, I mean, you know, you, I'm showing you on a computer screen. So, of course, you got those little lines there. But I thought that was really cute. So the possibilities are endless with this design. You may be even able to do actual photos, but again, as long as your original graphic is a PNG, you, you know, at least that's what I say. Of course, if you go look at other people's videos, they might tell you different, but a transparent PNG works best, high resolution, but I thought that was really cute. So we're gonna have to do some tumblers with this one too in the future, in the near future.